This is truly a magnificent box. This is the box for the EVGA Classified Special Edition GeForce GTX 590. And I know I already unboxed a 590, but I had to, I saw this box in the back, and actually, actually it didn't come in this one. Just keep the camera pointed that way. I'll bring it over. I'll bring it over. I saw it in the warehouse, and it was literally in this box, and I was like. Oh, is that a is that a master carton of video cards? Maybe there's like four inside and that warehouse guy was like, no, that's one video card. I was like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, because I didn't believe him, so I opened it. And sure enough, it was one video card. So let's unveil it here. Dun dun dun. Da, da, da. So the first thing we find inside is an EVGA t-shirt made by Haynes. So it's not even like your cheap t-shirt. That's a tagless Hanes t-shirt. Let's go ahead and uh, open that up there. Oh, a nice heavy cotton on that too. And what's the size? The size is uh, XL. Well, that figures. It's a little big on me. But, uh, you know, I guess they figure your typical uh, GTX 590 gamer is probably an XL. Ooh, this is nice. That's a really nice mouse pad, actually. Look at that, limited edition. It's a, it's a hard gaming surface, got a little bit of flex to it, got a nice rubber back, so it's not going to slip anywhere. That's very nice, actually. Nice touch. Next, we have da -da -da -da, one of those EVGA gaming posters with the skull on it. Okay. And we got some more foam here. Oh, just foam. Look at that. See? Just foam. Okay. And we'll take out another piece of foam. Pretty nice piece of foam for what it's worth. Nice uh, you know, gray foam. Oh, oh, there's two cards. Oh no, there's not two cards. Oh, okay. I guess you can buy a kit with two cards. Well, this is just the one card kit, so we get a nice piece of foam as well as a card. Okay, so let's look at the accessories first. We have two six pins and one eight pin. Or rather, two six pins to one eight pin. We've got two of those. So if you have an SLI ready power supply that's older and only has uh, four six pin, power, uh, six pin PCIe connectors, then you will still be able to connect the classifieds to eight pins. We've got a mini display port to full size display port adapter. We have a DVI to VGA uh, to HDMI adapter, as well as a DVI to VGA adapter, and for Crying out loud, please don't use VGA on this, on this uh, video card. Okay, attention. Please allow the graphics card to cool for a minimum of two minutes after operation. Okay, before removing it from your system. And here we have it. This is the GTX 590 Classified Limited Edition Graphics Card. You know what? This is actually a little bit different from the reference one. I'll have to, you know what, let me go get my reference card. I'll be back in a minute, and I'll show you guys. So two things. Okay, first of all, EVGA's backplate is clearly going to do a better job of cooling the memory than the stock two-piece backplate, because it is a single piece, and so it just plain has more surface area. There's no rocket science to it here. Okay, second of all, EVGA seems to be one of the only graphics card companies that has figured out which way people install graphics cards in their computers. So they install them like this which means that all of this text is now right side up for you to read when it's installed in your system. Very nice, very nice touch EVGA. So let's go ahead and turn it over and compare the other side to our reference card, which I think is going to be quite similar. Yeah, okay. So now it looks pretty much the same. So now I'm gonna take my reference card away and we are going to focus on the EVGA classified. So, this is a three gig graphics card it features two GF110 cores, so that is two full-fledged GPUs that are the same as the one that is used in the NVIDIA GTX 580, okay? Now, they are running on an internal SLI configuration, which means that you don't get quite the full performance of two of those chips, but you do get the excellent SLI scaling in many titles, as well as support for all of NVIDIA's key technologies, such as CUDA, PhysX, uh, obviously SLI, because it's internal, but also Quad SLI. You can actually run two of these bad boys in the same system for even more graphics performance. 3D Vision, as well as 3D Vision Surround. 
So uh, let's, let's go on a quick tour of the card. So here is our SLI finger up here at the top. Here is some more text that is right side up when the card is actually installed in your system. Here is that little lit GeForce logo, so that actually lights up with LEDs, and it is functional. If there's any kind of problem with your card, like if you don't have the right power connectors uh, connected, then it'll actually flash, so you can, you can tell that there's some kind of a problem. Instead of, uh, I remember the first time I fired up a GTX, uh, or rather an 8800 GTX, uh, it squealed at me like a pig. And uh, I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on, but it turned out one of my PCIe adapters wasn't plugged in right, and that was the issue. So there's our 80 millimeter fan cooling the Unisync that you can clearly see down there. And then inside the card, you can see there's uh, one vapor chamber and two, I don't know if you can see that one, two vapor chambers with fins. Okay, here on the bottom, you see our standard PCIe 16X interface. Here at the back of the card, you can see some ventilation. So that's uh, going to be kicking air out towards the front of your case. And then here on the front of the card, you see some more ventilation as well as one of the coolest features about this card. So the two GTX 580, well, remember, they're not equivalent because it's the same GPU, has all the same functional units, but it's clocked a little bit lower in order to get the power under control for a dual GPU card. But it has two GPUs on it, which means you can actually drive four displays off of the single card. You can run three displays on DVI for NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround off of a single card. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the EVGA GTX 590 Classified. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, computer videos, and all of that good stuff.